What if I told you the Panasonic Lumix S52X full frame sensor has a crop on it, while the GH6 Micro Four Third sensor never has a crop on it? What would you say? What's going on here? It all started out with my previous video where I explained why I cancelled my Panasonic Lumix S52X and that was mainly because of the crop factor when shooting in slow motion. And the reason I'm filming today in my living room is because my home studio is now so messy because I am preparing the next video which is GH6 slow motion 4K 120 frames per second. Can't do that with an S52X can you? I'm just joking. I'm like, I do like the S52X, but it's not for me. Many comments were obviously, oh, so you are not buying the S52X because it's got a crop on it while you're shooting in the GH6, which has a two times crop on it. Well, actually it doesn't. Let's see if we can get on the same page here. The GH6 has a micro four third sensor, but there's no crop on it. Meaning I can film in 24 frames per second, change it to 60 frames per second, all the way up to 120 frames per second in 4K and the sensor size will always stay the same. It will never crop in. And you can also shoot in up to 300 frames per second in HD and still there is never any crop on the GH6 Micro Four Third sensor. So that is what separates the GH6 with the S52X. And the problem you have when you have a crop on the S52X is if you do decide to start filming a scene in 24 frames per second, but then you rather see how it looks like, for example, in 60 frames per second, it's gonna be a nightmare because the sensor is cropped. You might have to move the camera, the camera might be on a motorized slider, you might even have to relight the whole scene and that is something that a video specific camera like the X version, it, it, it should not do that man. It should be consistent, no crop on the full frame sensor. But here the problem is, as it is a full frame camera, it might overheat if you shoot 60 frames per second with the whole sensor active. And that's also probably why it cannot shoot 4K 120 frames per second, because it takes a lot of power to cool the sensor down as it is that big. One thing that is very misleading that you find in multiple images if you just Google micro four third uh, sensor size, sensor size difference versus full frame APS-C and so on, is a frame and you have this is full frame, this is APS-C and this is micro four thirds. Now that is misleading because that is not really how it works. On a full frame camera, you would obviously use a full frame lens. And as the camera uses a spherical lens, it's not squared, it looks more like this. And with a micro four third sensor or APS-C or whatever, once you match the, it got a bit darker, sorry. Once you match a lens specifically built for a micro four third sensor, it's going to fill out the whole spherical field. It's not going to crop it. Let's distinguish sensor size with a crop factor. The sensor size on the GH6, yes, it's smaller than a full frame sensor. However, on the GH6, as I mentioned again and again, there is no crop on it. Yes, there are some codecs that there is like a super little crop on it. I can't even find them, so I consider the G86 to be cropless. It's just the last maybe 10 years after we got like the, uh, was it the Canon 5D Mark II or something like that, that could shoot full frame. That was uh, amazing for its time. But again, this was a photography camera that had killer video features and back in the day that was just awesome. So the Lumix S52X is a hybrid camera. You can take pictures with it and shoot video, but as they market this as a video specific camera, I think that it is not good enough that there is a crop on it, nor that you can shoot 4K 120 frames per second. There are a plethora of other cameras that can do that. Okay, wait. 
it got dark again. There is the option on the S5 II and the X version that you can have a constant crop on the sensor so that if you do film in 24 frames per second and you want to have the same sensor size when you're filming in slow motion, you do have the option of cropping the sensor always. But then aren't there many more cameras that you can purchase for a lower price, which is an APS-C sensor, for example. It's not a real full frame camera. I think that it's marketed very unfairly. There are so many limits with it. Most of the reasons that people are talking about buying a full frame camera, like the S5 2X is because it's full frame and it is just uh, amazing looking because you get a very blurry background. Now, that is true until a certain point because you can replicate that blurry background on a uh, GH6 for example all the way down to a f1.8 lens on a full frame sensor like the S5 2X. If you're always shooting in lower f-stops than f1.8 you need to go with a full frame camera like the S5 2X because there are no lenses built, at least not for the moment, that can go lower than 0.95 on a micro four third sensor which is more or less a uh, very popular f1.8 on a full frame camera. You're gonna know if you are shooting always in lower lit situations or that autofocus is essential for you, go for it man, I mean, good on you. But the main point here is let's distinguish once and for all the sensor size and a crop factor. On the sensor, G86 has no crop, the S5 2X has a crop on it if you want to shoot in slow motion. No. Peace.